Now, look, it's been a massive week of news, so what better way to have a bit of light relief? And I thought we'd be inviting to the program tonight Australia's favourite cartoonist, Mark Knight. Great to see you again. Steve. Uh, you've had no shortage of material this week. Now, there's no better way to summarise what's made the headlines than your cartoons of the week. What one do we want to start with? Why don't we start with Kevin Rudd versus Donald Trump? Oh, yeah. Kevin Rudd's called me a gutless coward, and I've written a column about that for tomorrow. Mm. I hope that you... Congratulations, by the way, on that. looked after me there. <laughs> Let's have. have a look at the cartoon you did uh, of Kevin Rudd versus Donald Trump and describe to me how you, how you came up with that. Well, I just thought, you know, Kevin was mouthing off and uh, you know how you're sort of mouthing off sometimes and then the person you're mouthing off is standing right behind you. I thought in this situation, he's a bit like a bunny rabbit in the headlights. Donald Trump's motorcade is heading for the White House. Yes. And I don't think anything is going to stop that. So I thought I would have that sort of, that, that, that rush to the White House and poor Kevin as the, the bunny rabbit in the headlights. And my little pig, if you look in the corner, has uh, a little comment saying, um, drove his Chevy over Kevy, just to, to take a line from the famous American Pie song. So um, explain the, the little pig to people. How did that come about? <laughs> that pig came about because of another guy who was in the news this week. Paul Keating. Ah. Remember Keating back in, was it the 80s or the 80s, 90s? He had an investment in a piggery. That's right. Yep. Yeah, and I drew a... 60 Minutes found out about That's it. That's right. And I drew a cartoon about the piggery and in the corner I had a little pig and he was saying something and it was actually uh, the, the late, great Wegg said to me, yep. you should keep that little pig Bill because... Green, yeah. yeah, Bill Green. Because Jeff Hook has his hook and you need something in your cartoon so the pig stayed in there. Do you remember drawing Kevin Rudd favourably or unfavourably? <laughs> or did it change over the two terms? Oh, look, Kevin uh, takes himself incredibly seriously. Oh, I, no, I, really? <laughs> I, always, <laughs> I used to draw him as like this sort of Caesar. And you know how he had great rapport with staff and people working around him. I, well, yelling I think, at them all. That's right. I, them, I think he went through... Telling the woman on a plane that the <laughs> meal wasn't satisfied. That's right. All that. <laughs> so I used to draw him as sort of Caesar going down below deck and, and asking the, the rowers, did they, like the, <laughs> did they like the working conditions in the PM's office? <laughs> Which is what it was akin to. So. That's fantastic. Yeah. And he's come back. Give Thank God. A bit of joy. Thank God. And uh, he's come back and uh, uh, he, he once made a famous apology to uh, the um, Indigenous people of Australia. Yes. I suspect he's going to have to pull on his uh, apology pants and uh, call up Donald Trump. How much fun is uh, Donald Trump to draw? Well, He'll he, be back next year. He, 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 he is the number one. Is it yeah. the hair? It's the hair, it's the attitude. You know, you know, great political caricatures are not just the physical, but it's the politics of the yep. person as well. That drives it. And he has everything. He's like Jeff Kennett in that sort of the look, the policies, the, the, the demeanour. Like <laughs> don't, tell, don't tell Jeff I said that. <laughs> uh, but no, Trump is. And look, Biden's been a lot of fun to draw. Yep. Um, the, the shades, the Zimmer frame, the nodding off. Um, <laughs> You have, you, have so much, you have too much fun. Yeah. Uh, Commonwealth Games, the Olympics in Brisbane is going to give you a bit of uh, yep. material too because they can't work out whether they're going to run it in a paddock or whether they're going to build a stadium. But the Com Games, your cartoon there was fantastic. Uh, that had a pile of money being set for Yes. I thought we could use, you know, I know the Com Games is a poor cousin to the Olympics, but I love the Olympic cauldron and the lighting of the flame. And I thought we could have a closing ceremony for the cancellation of the Games and we'd borrow the cauldron and fill it with that, was it 589 million yep. bucks not so far? Not to have the Games. Not to have the Games. Not to put them on, <laughs> not to have them. And, and Andrew, Andrew, Andrew said he was doing us a favour about that, but... I thought it would be nice just to have Jacinta Allen lighting the cauldron full of cash and um, it all going up. The Russian election, you also drew a cartoon yeah. this week. Yes. Is, is that hard to, to draw a cartoon about something as serious as Vladimir Putin and Russia? Well, I'm scared I might get whacked. Yes. <laughs> Don't go near anyone with umbrellas. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Vladimir Putin, he, he's not another one of these great sort of um, populist leaders that uh, just divide, d defies convention, but uh, good value for cartoonists. And I just thought there he would be in Red Square as everybody's lining up to vote and he would be doing the, the democracy sausages, which we have, Steve. Except his democracy sausages are a little bit... Uh, I wonder if we're the only yeah. country that does a sausage sizzle at election day. Oh, uh, well, you, have to be. you wouldn't want one in Russia. No, it's, you wouldn't. It's charcoal. Yeah. 
exactly right. Yeah. Great to have you in the studio yeah. again, mate. Good right. on you, I'll be happy tomorrow, will I? You will, mate, yeah. Good You'll have you. a chuckle. Good on you, mate. Thank you. Mark Knight, how great it is to have him in the studio. Thank you very much.